Hello, hello. Welcome back, dreamers, OGs, and new friends. I'm your host, Anna, and my channel name is Only In My Dreams. If this is your first time visiting, thank you for stopping. And I hope you subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And most definitely, even if you don't subscribe, if you enjoy your visit, please give me a thumbs up so people will find this channel, honey. I need to get this baby to grow. <laughs> so here we go. Um, I found I found a lot of good things, but I kind of hit jackpot for books. Um, thanks to Kay's for Karen for sharing her books. Uh, she found a whole bunch of Hallmark books, which I posted in my community page in her last Dollar Tree haul. So, um, and I think she had found out of the Hallmark books through. Um, I, I want to. I can't forget the channel name. I can't remember the name. Okay, but regardless, I hit the jackpot with books, and let me give you. So if you're an avid reader, but you're on a budget and you need to get your book read on or you're just stockpiling for the summer, lining up your reads, they got some books, girl. They got some books right now. My Dollar Trees have been dry of books. It's like a desert town for books. So when they finally brought these in, I was so excited. I was like over the moon. Okay, let's talk about some foodie finds real quick. So they're like front, line, and center here. Um, I did buy the chocolate chip Little Dutch made cookies. These are really good. Um, so I do recommend these and also the fudge striped. Those are really good as well. So they're good. Okay, for $1.25, you cannot beat it. They finally brought back the JJ's mini pies. These are made with real fruit. Um, you do get three individually wrapped um, apple pies in here. And they're good. My kids like them. They requested it. And I haven't seen them in such a long time. This was a nice, pleasant find. So I was like, oh, they brought them back. Yay. Then talking about bringing stuff back. They brought back the Pop Daddy pretzels, the cinnamon sugar. They also had the ranch and the peppercorn. But this is what um, my kids were requesting. The cinnamon sugar by Pop Daddy. These are so good. I even enjoy these, okay? These are delicious. And I believe these are a USA product, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so there you go. Made in Michigan. Oh, yeah, I did get two of those. I did, because we hadn't seen this in such a long time. So I got to. I had to. I had to do it. Then I did get, I, we couldn't find a fudge. We couldn't find a fudge. So they had the Lance Nicot lemon creams. So I got the lemon cream because, you know, that's what they enjoy. I enjoy it too. But I was looking for the fudge, man. The fudge Nicot. Oh, you need like a support group for that, okay? Because it's like, it's like an addiction. It is. But these are really good too. Those are good. And then I was really happy to see, because it's still winter time. It's still cold. Um, and my kids do like to have hot cocoa and they like marshmallows in their hot cocoa. And I normally buy the hot cocoa that comes like in a big box. If you haven't seen some of my prepping videos, I do have a prepper playlist. I'll put it up here in the eye in the sky. You can check it out later. I usually buy the big, the big boxes, but they're not with marshmallows. And so I was glad to see they brought back the jet puff small marshmallows these are fantastic not only for hot cocoa but if you like to make your yams and all those really nice just ooh comfort foods just so good um you eat those year round you guys it's not just for holidays eat that year round honey okay so this is uh, a 10 ounce and they're really good and i got a tip from one of our friends here in the community thank you girl she recommended you put these in the freezer, which I did because the boys get into it. And it's perfect when you take them out from the freezer and then you break them up and you put them into the hot cocoa. It helps to cool the hot cocoa down and it's still melty and everything. Yeah, I know that was an awesome tip. Thank you. Then I did find these. These were new. But they did have something similar to this before. I think it's, what was it, the plates? They had the plates before. Did they have the lemons before? I can't remember. I can't remember if they had the lemons. I know I had some containers from the last time. No. Okay. Because I'm looking here. The last containers that I got, because I brought them out, because I do have some of my, let me put, let me put this down. 
these are the last ones that I bought, which I have miniatures and crafting supplies in. Um, it was the leaf and it was the pumpkin design. That's what they had last time. Okay. And they're fantastic. They're great for storage. I use them. As you can tell, I use them. So when I saw the lemons, I was like, oh, yes, these are so pretty. Um, if I go back and see some more, I probably will buy maybe two more because these are going to be for my craft room, but I wouldn't mind having these for my kitchen just to store not food, but dry goods um, or even packets of uh, like spices or mixes. That would be great for this for me. Okay. Super cute. Or these would be good too. If you open up some cookies or something and they're, or, you know, and you just don't want it, you know, the kids are going to tear it up within one day, but you need to put it somewhere. These will be good for that. Okay. Um, these should be food safe. It doesn't say, it doesn't say that's why I just use it for, um, wash, wash before using and hand wash only. That's what it says here on the bottom. It doesn't say it's in the food department, but it doesn't say if it's food, food safe, but it should be. I'm just, you know, out of an abundance of precaution. Yeah. Now I did also find there, they brought these back. Now they had these before. These are the reusable veggie bags by Natural Home. This is not a Dollar Tree brand and you get five, five pack. And these are great for your veggies. So they brought these back and they're breathable fabric, earth free friendly machine washable less waste reuse reduce and reuse okay so they have these back again there you go heads up take a look and they were on a clip so if you need these look for the clips because they have them on the clippy clips then i did get one of these new hawaiian volcanic waters naturally alkaline this is deep well water i've never tried this brand um, it's 16.9 fluid ounces, and that's the name. There you go. That's the name of it. And I wanted to give it a go. Hmm. I'm going to give it a go. I was like, ooh, Hawaiian volcanic water in a bottle? Okay. Definitely down to try that. Now, for my book lovers, let's talk books. So we have Lizzie's Heart. This is by Susan Lance Simpson. And this is like one of those Amish books. This goes for $7.99. So they have that one. Then they have this one. And this is called The Christmas Boutique, an Elm Creek Quilts novel. Okay. And it's a New York Times bestseller. The charm of the setting and characters is as strong as ever by the library journal and this one it doesn't tell me because the sticker is covering it but there you go they have that one really pretty pretty book cover then we have some what i call bow chicka wow wow books okay so we have the eva lay it's called the good girl's guide to rakes so if you need some little romance books, they got them too. And these are by Avon Books. Um, they have Avon Romance, Avon Books. Those are good reads. So there you go. I got that one. It doesn't say how much it is because the sticker is covering it. But if you like those kind of reads, I like a genre, different genres. Here's another. Bow chicka bow wow. The Duchess Hunt. And this is by Lorraine Heath, okay? And this is a USA Today best-selling author. And this is another Avon book, an Avon romance book. And like I said, they're usually good reads, just like Harlequin and all the other ones. Yeah. So that one. And now we're going back into Amish town. We're leaving Bow Chicka Bow Wow. And we're going into Hallmark. And that's what I was looking for. Some of these, haul I didn't find all of them, like all of the books that she shared for Hallmark, but these are the ones that my store had. Um, this is an Amish flower farm by Hallmark, an uplifting feel-good romance by Mindy Steele. 
and uh how much does it go for it the sticker is covering it but again um it says include a free hallmark original recipe for bee sting cake for two so as you could tell it says hallmark right here i'm sorry the lighting hallmark right there and the back it says hallmark so they have that available and here's another hallmark um this is a gingerbread romance based on Hallmark Channel original movie. So this is by Lacey Baker. And the sticker is covering up how much it goes for. But again, really pretty. Love the book. This also includes a original recipe for gingerbread cake with lemon butter sauce. Ooh, lemon butter sauce. Wow, that sounds great. Doesn't that sound yummy? Again, Hallmark. Hallmark, Hallmark book right there. Cool find. Let me see if I have any other Hallmark books so I can try to keep the Hallmark books together. No, no. That was the end of the Hallmark books. But then I found this one. This one is by Sally Thorne. And this is Angelica Frankenstein makes her match. So that one sounded really cool. And this is an Avon book as well. So I thought that was going to be pretty cool. It says PS insights and interviews and more. So I guess it has like some additional stuff in here. I don't know. There you go. So I thought that that was going to be a good read. Then we have this one. This by Harper, um, Harper books. And this one's called the mistletoe matchmaker and, um, by Felicity Hayes McCoy. There we go. And the uh, price is actually covered. So I'm sorry, I can't give you the price. But it's another $1.25, a brand new book. Hello. Hello. Great for, you know, putting them up on your shelf. And they're going to be there and ready for you when you need them. Because I'm going to be reading, honey. Okay, then the next one, this is more like a mystery. It's called a food blogger mystery. It says the corpse in the gazebo. By Deborah Sen Senefelder. She can't bake her way out of this one. That's what it says. But here it says a, flu a food blogger mystery. Okay. And this goes for $8.99. That's the price in the back. And then you see the dog sniffing around. She can't bake her way out of this one. I thought that, that was going to be a fun read. <laughs> and then the last one is a bow chicka bow wow. Oh, did I get two? <gasps> I got two of the same book. I know who I'm going to send it to, though. I'm going to send it to somebody. Okay, I got two of the same book. It's okay. It's okay. It's got to be a good book because I got two of the same one. All right. So that is everything for this haul. I know it was more like a bookie themed haul. And I think it's really important that we get literature into our homes um, whenever we can. And, uh, you know, the Dollar Tree sometimes has some really great, interesting, they even a lot of people have been sharing journals and things like that. I haven't seen the journals um, and some other really interesting books. You got to get what you can find when they bring them out. Sometimes they'll go through a whole thing for crafting. And then all of a sudden, in a couple of months, it'll be a whole bunch of stuff for recipes and just like right now, it was like a couple of weeks worth of finding really cool socks and underwear. And then the next thing might be, you know, stuff for the kitchen. Then it might be stuff in the medicine aisle. It's like you just have to pick up what you find. So it's almost like going to the thrift store, a treasure hunt, and you never know what they're kind of focusing on for a couple of weeks or a month or two, but you just kind of try to take advantage of it and save money and get the things that you need for your home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.